Uh, let us convert what you call this the um, if and else statement using the switch case command. So how to do that? So we have to use the reserve words for the switch and we have to use the reserve words for the case. So we have the switch here. So inside the switch we have the variable num. The purpose of that is to validate the num. At the same time we use number 10 to validate if num is equals to 10. If that is equals to 10 then that's the correct data. Otherwise it will say too high or invalid data. Okay, thank you. The purpose of the break command, this is to uh, go to the next line. At the same time, if there is another statement for the option, then you can still use the case break. That is equivalent to the if and else command. If the data is not correct, otherwise we will end it by using the else command is equivalent to the default. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we are here to count the numbers from 1 to 15. Well, of course, in the first place, we need first to what you call this define what is a loop. Loop is used to reiterate or to repeat the numbers. So we, I check up your activities number 14. So madali lang pala ito eh. So this is the solution. Okay, we, had, we need first to declare the variable. So we have the counter. Later on, you can change the variable po. Okay, at the same time, we need to use the for loop. The for is statement is composed of three parts. We have the counter. This is to initialize the variable to zero. Counter compared to, com compared to 15. Let's start equals 15 and we need to increment the, uh, count, the counter by 1. The purpose of that is 0 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 until it hit number 15. So if 15 is consummated, automatically it will print the word, uh, the val value of counter. Okay, ito na yun. So after that, we need to close we need to close the statement. This is the end loop. This is the beginning of the loop. And then we need to put the statement of return 0 so that uh, it will terminate the program. So when we run the program, okay, ito na yun, 0 from 1 to 15. That's it. Okay. Okay, this time around, we need to count the numbers. Um, we need to uh, determine the odd and even numbers, right? So odd numbers and even numbers. So i uh, sorry for the long spelling, you know, odd numbers. So we have to change first the counter to 20 or uh, whatever value is that, and then we need to play with the counter. You need to use the plus equal sign to determine all the odd numbers. That's it. So that's the result. Okay. Okay, so here we need to count the numbers from 1 to 3. It's not counting, but we'll use the counter and we put it in our an array. What is an array? It is a variable with the same data type but with different elements inside. Okay, so I will explain it later on. So we need to uh, declare the variable of counter right here to count the data. At the same time, we have here the, uh, the what you call this, the uh, data one as a variable that has the value of an array of 3. So 0, 1, 2, that is the address. And at the same time, we'll um, loop the numbers from 1 to 3. That's where we ask the user to enter the three integers, right? So as you can see, we are using also the loop right here. And then we need to inform the user to enter three integers. Then we will, what you call this, summit. And we ask them using the scene command to input the data 1 plus counter. Why is it that we are using the counter? Because counter is part of our loop that will count from 1 to 3. And data 1 holds the array of 1, 2, 3. And we need to... um infuse the sum it variable or you can use any variable in that case uh, so that we can uh, sum the numbers of data that we entered to the um, data one counter so we have there to print now the total so if we process that sum it equals sum it plus data one and plus counter and then we uh print the data okay we run it we enter two we enter three we enter five the answer is nine we need first to understand how to loop the numbers now uh, using the for loop. For loops composed of three parameters. One is to initialize, number two is to compare, number three is to increment. This time we will decrement it. How to decrement the value it count it backwards? Like for example, we have here the variable. Okay, so we have here x plus to 10 and x is greater than equals to 0. And then we decrement the value by x by 1. So as you can see, it has a big, it has a, a reverse uh, order of a statement if you use the normal loop. And of course, we have this and then we run the program. Okay, let's see, oops, we have the error. We forgot to uh, put the interrupt main GC. Again, we run it again. And then we have here the value, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Now we will get the string and of course, that's it. Thank you. Okay, so this time we reverse the loop. We need to count it backwards and using the while loop. While loops composed of three parameters also. We have to initialize the variable. We have to create a condition and we have to increment it. But dito, we assign x as equals to 10 because we'll, be, we'll start to count by 10, okay? So, and then we compare the value to 0. So x is greater than 0. If x is greater than 0, so we need to decrement the value of x. Like for example, 10 minus 1, 9 minus 1, 8 minus 1, and so on and so forth. Then we display the value of x. And then after that, we run the program. Okay, so 
you need to review these codes. Uh, this is very simple. That's all. Okay, uh, let's do more on loop now. Uh, this is very important. So we need to understand this and I want you to review your module. So this is my example. What if we would like to enter uh, the value to uh, count the loop? So we have here two variables, num and x. Num will serve as our value to enter in the scene command. So we need to enter the command, the, the scene command, and uh, the, the, the num in, uh, as part of the scene command. And then we compare the value of x to 1 because we start to count from 1 and we compare it to num. Num now is the value that we entered to the as, as input and then we display the value of x and after I write that we will display the value entered to the scene command okay that is the num so x is your uh, counter num is the value that uh, you uh, fuse the loop okay now if you run the program oops we have wait for a while so we have here okay we run the pro we have the problem right here I think we missed the semicolon uh, right there in the count okay so we need to run again okay that's it so Okay, so kanina, uh, nagpost ako kanina doon sa for loop, no? Uh, today, uh, now, we will convert that for loop using the while loop. So, we will declare uh, two variables, initialize it. So, the value of x is equal to 0, and we use the num to be part of our, what you call this input process. So, here, we compare the value of num to x because num is the data uh, for the input statement. Now, we use the count to ask the user to enter the value uh, to be uh, put in the uh, scene command. So, we have the num as part of the input and we decrement the value of the num not the x huh? so after that we display the value of num and uh, we end the loop and uh, after that um, we need to uh, infuse again the statement that will display uh, the number that we uh, enter to the scene command no and uh, we terminate the program okay that's it thank you Okay, so kanina, uh, nagpost ako kanina doon sa for loop, no? Uh, today, uh, now, we will convert that for loop using the while loop. So, we will declare uh, two variables, initialize it. So, the value of x is equal to 0, and we use the num to be part of our, what you call this input process. So, here, we compare the value of num to x because num is the data uh, for the input statement. Now, we use the count to ask the user to enter the value uh, to be uh, put in the uh, scene command. So, we have the num as part of the input and we decrement the value of the num not the x huh? so after that we display the value of num and uh, we end the loop and uh, after that um, we need to uh, infuse again the statement that will display uh, the number that we uh, enter to the scene command no and uh, we terminate the program okay that's it thank you Or this time we'll be using the do loop do loop is a bit different from the while loop but they are work but uh, the, the functionalities are well they are the same because they are used to repeat the numbers so do loop we have the body the statement the increment and the condition same thing with the for loop so we start with the do statement and then we increment the value of x that's the counter then after that we execute the statement okay so you need to put here the count or any statement that you want and then we end with the while x is greater equals to 10. Parallelian so while loop, we have the initialization, we have the condition, we have the incrementation. The incrementation in the in the in the middle, and the condition is in the last. Okay, parang baliktad. So we put the semicolon here because uh, while loop is now outside the preview of the opening close parenthesis. That's it. Okay, good afternoon. Sabi ko kanina, I uh, will have our casting discussion at exactly three o'clock, but I finished my Moodle writing before uh, 3 p.m. So we are here to use the do loop functions, okay? Do loop command. So our purpose here is to write a program that will enter any value. So when you enter the value, it will just uh, continue to uh, accept the number. But if you enter the negative value, it will stop. So we have the variables of sum in num. The purpose of sum is to use this as counter to check the total. So we need to ask the user to enter, what you call this the value by using the num. As you can see, we are using the sum greater than equals to 10 to compare the value to zero. So we need we put the semicolon because this is the longer part of the block. So here we need to display you know, the total. So uh, to display the total, we use the num. And of course, we need to check it. Okay, may bugs tayo dito ah. Subukan natin. So we enter value to two, two, negative one, nothing happens. Why? Because num is part of the input process. So we need to use the variable sum to uh, what you call this to uh, produce the total 
Uh, we are putting the error so that you will understand how to, manu to manipulate your program. No error pa rin yan. So we have to display, display uh, replace the, the num to sum and uh, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so um, this time around, we need to combine the uh, basic uh, assignment operators and then we need to find if the number is odd or even number. Kung i-enter natin, kung i-compare natin yung value ngayon sa numbers, no? like for example, interrupt na equals to 2, so that is even number. If num1 is uh, modulus equals to 0, meaning to say walang remainder yan, so it will what create the counter using the do loop. no? So the statement here is to combine the if else statement and the do loop statement. So we need to increment a counter. At the same time, we need to print the value of counter. And then uh, we need to create the conditions. While counter is not equals to, um, let's say, 4 or 3, then we will, what you call this, uh, we will print from 1 to 3. And then we, what you call this, uh, otherwise, if the statement of from at, at the top is not uh, true, so we need to print it as odd number. Okay, so that's it. So when we run the program, automatically we can see uh, the results no? from 1 to 3. Okay, oops, we have the error right here. So we need to find where's the error. Okay, so somewhere here, that's the semicolon. We have no terminator. Okay, that's it. Okay.